Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will tell you about three different ways of finding area in AutoCAD. So you must be familiar with the area tool of AutoCAD, which can be used to find the area. Obviously, that's an easy way of finding the area. But there are also other ways which can be used to find areas in different situations. So I'll start with the area tool and here we have these three simple geometries the circle this rectangle and this triangle now if you want to find the area of this simple object you can simply select the area command and then press enter now we have some options here so in this first case we have an option of object so let's select the object option click on the object and here we have the area on the command line so that's the easiest way of finding area you can expand this command line to see it more clearly we have the area here 8159.5030 square units and the circumference is 320.2114 units so this unit can be anything mm inches or whatever unit you have specified in your drawing now if you want to find the area of this rectangle you can repeat the same process so i'll select area press enter and in this case once again I can select object and click on the object to find the area or I can simply click on these four vertices so in this way I can specify the area which I want to find and now press enter and here we have the area and the perimeter similarly the area for this triangle can be found now if you want to find the combined area of these two objects or let's say that we want to find the complete area of these three objects then that can also be done so for that once again I'll go to area press enter and now I'll select this add area option now you need to select the first object so I'll select this object option click on the first object now we need to select this second object as well because we want to find the area of both of these objects and as soon as you make the selection you'll see that the combined area will be shown here 199221.3173 square units now what if you want to add the area of this triangle as well in this case you cannot simply click on the triangle because this triangle is made with these separate lines now for that simply press enter and click on these three vertices and that will once again add the area and press enter and there we have it the combined area is 24145.7653 so that's the total area of these three objects now let's press escape key and move to a different situation now here I'll simply hide this circle so I'll right click and I'll select hide objects now what if we want to find the area of this space we want to find the area of this rectangle excluding the area of circle now for that once again I'll go to area tool so let's select area press enter and now we need to add the area so click on add area and click on object and click on this rectangle now we have the complete area of this rectangle but we don't want the complete area we want the area of this remaining space we want to subtract the area of this circle for that I'll simply press enter and now select this option subtract area now click on object and click on this circle there we have it now we have subtracted this area from the complete rectangle and the remaining area for this green region is 41618.0643 square units so that's a different way of finding the area but in both of these cases I've used the area command which is a direct way of finding the area now let's look at the second method now using the second method you can find area quite easily now in this case we want to find the area of this remaining portion now for that I can simply select the hatch tool so I'll go to this hatch command here and now select this area in which we need to apply the hatch now it hardly matters which pattern you select because all of these patterns will give the same result now we have the area shaded simply click on close hatch select the hatch then right click and click on properties and let's scroll it down and here we have the area which is 
0.0643 square units. So that's an easy way, but an indirect way of finding the area. In this case, we don't need to add the area or subtract the area. Now, after finding the area, you can obviously remove the hatch if you want. Now, I'll simply unhide the object which was hidden in the previous case. And I'll simply hide this circle now. All right. Now, what if we want to find the area of this region, which is the combined portion of these two objects? Now, for that, we can use a different approach. Obviously, we can make a hatch in this area and we can find out its area. That's again a simple way of doing that. But we also have a new option. And for that, we can use boundary tool. So let's select boundary and press enter. Now, this boundary creation window will open up. Now, here you need to select the pick points. So click on this pick point and select this pick point. Now this will highlight the area which will be selected. Now press enter and a new polyline is created. So click on this area here right on the boundary and you'll see that only this part will be highlighted. Click here and if this selection window is appearing, you can select the correct area. In this case, this is the polyline which we need to select. Now this portion is selected. Simply right click, go to properties and here we have the area along with the perimeter. So this is again a different way and an easy way of finding the area. Now there are some practical applications of these easy ways of finding area. So I'll apply it on this drawing. So here we have a very simple floor plan. Let's say that we want to find the area of this bedroom one. So for that, I'll simply hide the objects which are present here and I'll do that with the help of this layer property manager. So I'll hide the blocks and I'll hide the text. Now we can create the hatch here and find the area or we can use the boundary. In this case, I'm going to select the boundary tool. So let's select boundary. Now once again, click on pick point here, make sure polyline is selected. Click on pick point click inside and you can see the highlighted area. Obviously this area which is enclosed by this door will be removed. This area will not be counted. Press enter. Now select this boundary. Right click, go to properties. And here we have it, the area, which is 46862.12 square inches or 325.43 square feet. Now in this case, we have already specified the unit. So we can clearly see the area here. And if you know the area which is occupied by this door, then you can add that small part of the area to find out the complete area of this room. And you can repeat this process for other rooms as well. So these are some simple ways of finding area in AutoCAD. And you can use these methods to find areas quite quickly without using the area tool directly. So I hope this video was useful to you and if you have any questions, then let me know in the comments and don't forget to share this video. So thanks again for watching.